Hi guys, welcome to my new series of How It's Made with me, Barry Makariu. Today we're going to be talking about a recent NAS project I've done and I want to take you on a journey, give you a better insight into what's involved in creating a project like this. So now, as with all my projects, as well as stills, I always try and introduce a moving image element. I want to give you an insight into the whole process. When you set out to do a project like this, you have to think, why am I doing it? Who is it for? What do I hope to achieve? And while I'm walking around the department store, looking at all the digital screens, just seeing what's out there, I quickly realised that I didn't really want to go down the traditional route of filming the lipstick. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to use stop motion to create something very graphic, something appealing, something that people maybe haven't seen before. Um, also, this way I keep the quality up. Uh, it could be outputted to probably over 8K if need to be. So to do this, I started off by shooting the lipstick in a full rotation. I wanted to show the lipstick off to its best. I wanted to show it coming out of the lipstick in a rotation, coming completely out, showing the logo, the NARS logo going back in. It also has a very nice feature on the base of the lipstick that I wanted to show in the full rotation, which says NARS over four sides. Uh, I decided to do a stop motion theme on this one and uh, went about by shooting the lipstick 24 times to create a really nice smooth rotation. Um, in my mind I wanted to have a vision of a circular motion so lots of other lipsticks uh, all going around at the same time. Once I created the smooth rotation in Premiere I duplicated this 24 times in the Premiere software. Uh, this then created the very smooth rotation through all 24 rotations. Uh, I delayed each rotation by one frame. Uh, this one gave me a very nice endless pattern that could be used for a GIF uh, from start to finish. So once this is all done, I always sit back, I always think to myself, you know, can this be used commercially? Can I see this being used on a digital screen? And after looking at it, I thought this would be ideal. Um, it's really punchy, really stands out from, from the normal filming of a lipstick. Uh, and I think it shows off the product really well. So hopefully you found this insight into what goes into this project useful. I hope to share more of you very soon.